Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's ultimate high school academic quiz show. Today's match features Prince George High School versus Cave Spring High School. Let the battle begin. Hello and welcome to Battle of the Brains, Central Virginia's longest running high school academic quiz show. I'm Cheryl Miller. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. The academic athletes joining us today are the Knights of Cave Spring High School, coached by Tamara Carson. Cave Spring High School is in the Roanoke County School District in the southwestern part of the Commonwealth. The public secondary school's 1,000 students are eligible to take classes at the Roanoke Valley Governor's School for Science and Technology and the Arnold R. Burton Technology Center. Also with us today, the Royals of Prince George High School, coached by Michael Knight. In the greater Richmond region, the Prince George High School is the only public high school in Prince George County. It serves about 1,300 students in grades 10 through 12. It's great to have all these students here with us today. Our match will consist of three toss-up rounds and a category round. Our players will buzz in, but wait for me to call on them before giving their answer. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction, but there is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, students, welcome. Let's get underway with the first toss-up round. The city of Richmond, Virginia was founded on the banks of what river? <coughs> Owen. James River. Correct name by, uh, for King James I of England. Which revered U.S. military icon was relieved of his several Asian commands by President Harry Truman in April of 1951? Carson. Douglas MacArthur. Correct. Named for President Eisenhower's grandson and father David, the presidential retreat Camp David is located in the Katakan Mountain Park in what state? <coughs> Owen. Maryland. Correct. Within two years, when was the historic Burger Supreme Court decision, Roe v. Wade, legalizing abortion rights, announced? Sam. 1979. That is incorrect. Cave Spring? Cam? 1983. It's actually 1973. What word from the Norwegian language is used for a narrow, steep-sided inlet of the sea that was carved by a glacier? Owen. Fjord. Fjord is correct. Our next question is spell fjord. Isaiah. F-J-O-R-D. That's correct. Located in the USA, what is the oldest national park in the world? <coughs> Owen. Yellowstone. Correct. Formed in 1872, covering parts of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. What is the name for an atom or molecule with an unpaired electron? <coughs> Ham. Ion. That is incorrect. Prince George? That would be paramagnetic or free radical. All right, you may need your pencil and paper for this one. Find the integral of the expression 3x squared plus 2x. Carson. x third plus x squared. x to the x cubed plus x squared. That is correct. What is the highest pitched string instrument in an orchestra? Cam. Violin. Correct. The 2009 song, Blow, featured Ed Sheeran, Chris Stapleton, and what other artist? Isan. Travis Scott. That is incorrect, whose real name is Peter Jean Hernandez. Cave Spring? Pam? KZ. That would be Bruno Mars. Mm -hmm. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here is a Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brain's Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. What is the term for the peak output available from an engine during the moment of its hardest work? Isan. Horsepower. That is incorrect. Cave okay, Spring, Carson. Max thrust. It's actually called torque. Farfalle, manicotti, and tortellini are specifically varieties of what? Cam. Pasta. Correct. What is the collective name of the seven misfit kids from Derry, Maine in the 1990s Stephen King miniseries, It? <coughs> Owen. Bluegers Club. Correct. The atomic mass of an atom is measured in atomic mass units. Name the element and its mass number on which... <coughs> Carson. Carbon and 12. That is correct. In the visible spectrum of light, there are seven colors. These include red, orange, yellow, violet, and indigo. Name the other two colors. Carson. 
um, green and blue? Correct. Both alive and dead describes the condition of what physicist's feline pet? Buzz. Buzz. Judge is saying we're throwing out the question. That would be Schrodinger and his cat. Which type of object of a verb is not directly affected by the action, but can have the action done for them? Carson. An indirect object. Correct. And that buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. Good job by our teams. Up next, we'll meet today's players, and then they'll take on the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow along with Battle of the Brains on social media. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. Here are the scores following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Cave Spring High School with 70 points. Our team from Prince George High School with 50 points. We'll get back to our match and more questions just ahead, but first we want to introduce you to today's players. First, our team from Cave Spring High School. They are the Knights. Their coach is Tamara Carson. First up is Bryce Hagee, who is a sophomore. His favorite subject, he says, is math and also geography. He enjoys playing video games and watching sports. Next up is Carson Ray, who is a senior, uh, who is a senior at uh, Roanoke Valley Governor's School as well. He likes coding, robots, and artificial intelligence. Enjoys looking at faraway star clusters and galaxies with his telescope. He's also a musician. He plays the piano and composes music. Next up is our team captain, Cam Haggett, is a senior, participates in marching band as flute section leader, a member of the stage crew and theater, would like to go into ministry or psychology, and also spends free time crocheting, embroidering, and listening to podcasts. And wrapping up our team is Anna Martin, who is a junior, has a pet Australian white tree frog, has lived in five states and enjoys reading and language learning. That's our team from Cave Spring High School. Now let's meet our team from Prince George High School. They are the Royals. Their coach is Michael Knight. First up is Owen Shanks. Owen is a senior, is a member of the National Honor Society, the Beta Club, and is an Eagle Scout. Enjoys waterfowl hunting and reading history and plans to study history and political science with a pre-law focus at the College of William and Mary. Next up is our team captain, Sam Gensler, who is a senior, is a member of the National Honor Society, the French Honor Society, and the Math Honor Society. Enjoys mixing audio and live production and would like to study divinity at Liberty University. Next up is Isaiah Langford, who is a junior, is a member of the National Honor Society, Beta Club, the Math Honor Society, and the French Honor Society. Is also a life rank in Boy Scouts, which is the second highest attainable rank below Eagle Scout and also a member of the chess club. And wrapping up our team is Isan Humzaima, who is a senior, enjoys working out, and is in the Student Government Association and Beta Club. That is our team from Prince George High School. Again, a big welcome to all of our students for playing Battle of the Brains with us today. Now they're going to play the category round where each team will select one 10 question category from today's choices. If the team gets all of its questions correct within the allotted time, they will receive a 20 point bonus. Teams, here are today's categories from which you may choose. They are measurements, Spanish numbers, and American novelists. We do note that in this round, only the captains can officially answer for the team, though they may confer with their teammates to come up with the correct answers. By the rules, the high score team gets first choice of category. Right now, that is our team from Cave Spring High School. So Cam, if you would quickly talk it over with your teammates and let me know what category you would like to play. Spanish numbers or measurements would be good. Maybe measurements would be good. I will take measurements. All right. From the clues, identify these numerical answers. The first is inches in a yard. 36, yeah. 36. Correct. Yards in a mile. Um, 1,760. 1,760. Correct. Meters in a kilogram. Meters in a... Thousand. It's 1,000. Meters in a kilogram, kilometer. 1,000. That is correct. Pints in a gallon. No, it's, it's eight, it's eight. Eight? Correct. Pounds in a ton. Uh, it's 2,000. 2,000? Correct. Milligrams in a gram. 1,000. 1,000? Correct. Kilograms in a metric ton. Um, I think it's 1,000. Yeah, yeah. 1,000? Correct. Fluid ounces in a cup. Eight, eight. It's eight. Eight. Correct. Teaspoons in a tablespoon. Three. Three. 
Three. Correct. And finally, liters in a gallon. Like about four. Four. That is incorrect. The judges are saying no, it is 3.8 more specific. All right, good job on your numbers. Prince George, will it be Spanish numbers or Easy American category. novelists? Sam? Spanish? Spanish numbers? Spanish numbers, please. All right, given the Spanish, translate it into English. The first is Diese Nueve. 19. Correct. Seis. Six. Correct. Catorce. 40. That would be 14. Cinco. Five. Correct. Mil. A thousand. Correct. Once. Eleven. Correct. Setenta. Seventy. Correct. Trenta y uno. Thirty-one. Correct. Ciento uno. Mm. Seventy-one. Be one hundred one. And finally, cuatro. Four. And that is correct. You know your Spanish numbers. All right, good job by both of our teams in the category round. Up next, we've got another toss-up round when Battle of the Brains continues. Miss a week of Battle of the Brains? Or want to catch up on a full season of Battle gameplay? Find full episodes on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores following the category round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Cave Spring High School, 120 points. Prince George High School with 90 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains in another toss-up round. And just a quick reminder for our teams, you will lose points if you interrupt a question with an incorrect answer. The other team will then have the chance to answer. No conferring in the toss-up rounds. Here we go. In which Arizona town did the 1881 gunfight at the OK Corral, Owen? That is correct, Tombstone. What is the surname of the family whose escape from Austria was dramatized in the movie The Sound of Music? Cam. Von Trapp. Correct. The West Indies are comprised of three principal island groups, the Greater Antilles, the Lesser Antilles, and what other group? Owen. The Westerlies. That is incorrect, Cave Spring. Bryce. The Northern Easterlies. It would be the Bahama Islands. Mm. Known as the greatest, what professional boxer was the first to employ the tactic? Uh, Isan. Muhammad Ali. Correct. The rope-a-dope during the 1974 bout with George Foreman. In a standard deck of cards, which is the only king that does not have a mustache? Sam. The king of hearts. Correct. What is the oldest of the medieval West African kingdoms that traded gold for salt? Isan. Mali. That is incorrect. Cave Spring? Person? Ghana. Ghana is correct. All right, teams, watch the screen. Listen carefully. Here is another Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And again, wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. Held annually at the beginning of autumn, this Virginia Beach Festival is named for a Roman god. Owen. Neptune. Neptune Festival is correct. To acquiesce means to accept something reluctantly but without protest. Spell acquiesce. Isaiah. A C Q U I E S C E. And that is correct. Yearling is a term for a horse between the ages of one and two. A colt is a male horse under the age of four. What is the female equivalent of a colt? Cam. Oh. That is incorrect. Prince George? Isan. Amberino. It would be a filly. Established in the mid-17th century, this act stated that all goods shipped to and from the American colonies must be on English ships. Name this act. Carson. The Navigation Act. Correct. Of the many species of birds, which one ranks as both the heaviest and the tallest? Owen. Ostrich. Correct. You may need your pencil and paper for this one. Find two numbers whose sum is 26 and whose product is 165. And that would be 11 and 15. 
What term describes someone who refuses to serve in the military for religious or moral reasons? Owen. Conscientious objector. Correct. Written in a Devanagari script, almost every citizen of India has a working knowledge of it. The Indian Constitution states that along with English, what is the official language? Anna. Hindi. Correct, of India. Water, water everywhere, and not a drop to drink is a line from what poem? Carson. The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. Correct, by Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Which amendment to the U.S. Constitution authorized Congress to levy and collect income taxes? Isaiah. The 27th. That is incorrect. Cave Spring. Carson. The 17th. It was the 16th Amendment. What final Yorkist king, who may have had his nephews Edward and Richard killed? Richard III. Anna. Richard III. Correct. Was defeated at a Battle of Bosworth Field. These misshapen beings of North, Norse mythology have become a term for presence on Twitter. Who are these dwarfs who hide under the bridge to frighten those? Trolls. Rice. Correct, who passed by. Oh, correct. All right, that buzzer means one more toss-up round just ahead and we'll double the point value for our teams. Stay tuned to see who will be today's winner here on Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains? Ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Go to battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores as we head now into the final round here on Battle of the Brains. Our team from Cave Spring High School with 185 points and our team from Prince George High School with 160 points. Now for this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled, but so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finish the question. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teams, good luck. This is our final toss-up round. They are forbidden to plow, eat meat, or handle impure materials like leather. Name this priestly varna. Isan. Vegan. That is incorrect. It is the highest caste of India. Cave Spring. Cam. Priests. It would be Brahmin. Known as Coach Prime, what NFL? Rice. Deion Sanders. That is correct. Head football coach for the University of Colorado. British physician Peter Roger is best known for publishing what type of book? Cam. Memoir? That is incorrect. Prince George? Sam? A novel. Actually, his name is in the title, Roger's Thesaurus. The United States' worst commercial nuclear disaster took place at Three Mile Island in what state? Carson. Pennsylvania. Correct. A partial meltdown in 1979. In 1492, Granada, the last of the Moorish kingdoms in Spain, fell to the forces of what two Christian rulers? Isaiah. Ferdinand and Isabella. Correct. Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent was, serpent, was the principal deity of what civilization? Carson. Aztec. Correct. During an August 2023 show in San Francisco, NBA point guard Steph Curry took lead vocals from Haley Williams to sing what band's song, Misery Business? Cam. Paramore. Correct. Forced to abdicate in 1814, Napoleon Bonaparte returned to power the following year after escaping from what Mediterranean island? Owen. Elvis. That is incorrect. Cave Spring. Bryce. Corsica. It's actually Elba. No S on the end, the judges giving that ruling. What is the most populous city in the state of Florida? Owen. Jacksonville. Correct. What is the name of the short metal pin used to fasten metal plates? Sam. Nail. That is incorrect. Prince George. Sam. Screw. It's called a rivet. This constant over 4 pi bounds the product of position and momentum uncertainties. Its namesake defined it as the ratio of photons energy and frequency when devising his law of black body radiation. Name this constant Carson. The Boltzmann constant? That is incorrect. Name this constant h equals h, h equal to 6.6 .6 times 10 to the negative 34th joule seconds. Prince George Sam? Um, um, I forgot it. 
It would be Planck's constant. Of mammals, which is the only one of the species that can fly? Isaiah. That. Correct. Ironically, he kept us out of war had been the re-election slogan of which president who brought the U.S. into World War I? Owen. Woodrow Wilson. Correct. In what state was President Woodrow Wilson born? Owen. Virginia. Correct. In Stanton, Virginia. What kind of number is equal to the sum of all of its factors, including Carson? Perfect number. Correct. Including one, but excluding itself. Francis Scott Key wrote the Star Spangled Banner. What was Key's official occupation? Carson. A lawyer? Correct. Second generation baseball star Vladimir Guerrero Jr. plays first base for what American League team? Bryce. The Braves. That is incorrect. Prince George? Sam? The Astros. He plays for the Toronto Blue Jays. Virginia is one of four states in the United States that are Commonwealth. Isaiah. I'll finish the question for Cave Spring. Name any one of the other three. Cam? Massachusetts. Pennsylvania and Kentucky, correct. And that buzzer is the end of our game. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here at Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date with Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. And follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. As we continue round one in this current season of Battle of the Brains, join us next week as we welcome Charlottesville High School versus Clover Hill High School. And now here's the final score for today's match, determining which of our teams will continue on in this season's competition. Ending the match with a final score of 220 points, our team from Prince George High School. Great job today by Isan, Isaiah, Sam, and Owen. Best of luck as you continue in this school year. Our winners today and going on to the next round, our team from Cave Spring High School, ending the match with a final score of 305 points. Great job today by Bryce, Carson, Cam, and Anna, and we will see you in the next round. Congratulations. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you back here next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.